In this video, we're gonna show you how to measure handlebars in all shapes and sizes. Hey folks, uh, Robert here with Hill Country Custom Cycles. I wanted to talk to you today a little bit about how to measure handlebars. There's not really an industry standard, unfortunately, and it seems from manufacturer to manufacturer, handlebar measurements vary. You know, comparing one 16 to another from different manufacturers, you come up with different measurements and it causes a lot of confusion. So I wanted to kind of break it down and show you how to measure them properly and then I'll talk about a couple of manufacturers and how their bars measure against other ones. So just to show you the differences of handlebars and manufacturers, this first one here, this is our standard 16 inch ape hanger. One of our most popular handlebars we sell. This is a Wild One brand, Wild One Chubby. This is their 16 inch ape hanger. This is an LA Choppers 16 inch. It's uh, the Twin Peaks model. Uh, so it's got the squared off corners, but still 16 inches tall as they call it. And then this is the Paul Yaffe Monkey Bar. This is also what they call a 16 inch. And if you look at the tape measure deal I put across here, they're their heights vary quite a bit. You know, we find very often that, you know, wild ones run taller. You know, people get them, they feel like they're taller than what they ordered, and in fact, they're not. It's just how they measure them. Same thing with the Paul Yaffe Monkey Bars. They run really tall. We recommend on these, if, if you don't know that they run tall, if you want a 16-inch Paul Yaffe Monkey Bar, you might be better off with a 14-inch, actually, because they measure so much taller the way they do them. So I'm gonna take these all off and go through the measurements and show you how to measure the height, the total width, the base width, the outside width, center width, and then also what they call end rise and pull back. This is our standard 16 inch bars. The easiest way to do height is not like this. It gets confusing. The way we do it, we turn the handlebar upside down and then we measure just like this from top to bottom and make sure that your side here is vertical. You can see these bars are coming out to about 16 and a half actually. So we wanna measure from the very top all the way to the very bottom. That's how we do it here at Hill Country. And we do that with all the bars. And that's, most people understand that. Technically, if you're in pipe fitting or something like that, you would understand that you should probably go from the center of this tubing to the center of that tubing. But over the years, and again, we've been doing this for 20 years, most people don't know that. They just assume to measure it from the top to the bottom and then that's the measurement. So that's what we go by because it's easy to understand that. So let me grab another handlebar over here and we'll see how it measures out. Okay, so here we have the Wild One brand, 16 inch. And they may have actually changed something over time. Uh, this is actually measuring out the same as ours, which is great, but used to they would measure out taller than that. They would come out to 17, 17 and a half in a lot of cases. I know I've been in arguments with people. No, that's a 16 inch, I'm sorry. But uh, these are measuring out 16 and a half, just like ours, and that's about the norm. You know what I mean? That's where they should be in my mind. So let's grab uh, the LA Choppers and see what they look like. All right, LA Choppers, these are the Twin Peaks. And they're measuring out also 16 and a half, right on the money. So don't have any worries there. We're fixing to measure the Yaffies and you're gonna be shocked. Watch this. All right, here's the Yaffe Monkey Bars. That looks to be right about 18 and a half. This is a 16 inch handlebar. They don't make an 18, or at least they don't anymore. It's a little different though, right? Because we have kind of a peak or a little bit of raised portion right here at the bottom. So we really should be measuring from right here. And on a pointed meat hook type handlebar, do you measure to the points or do you measure to the actual handle grip? Well, me personally, I would measure to here because that's gonna be consistent with all the other handlebars. But how do you do it with this in the way? Well, again, we're gonna go upside down, but I'm gonna do it off the table. So these don't really matter. And then I'm gonna measure up to right here. We're still at 17 inches. They're a half inch taller than all the rest. So know that going into it with the Yaffe bars. And there's some other manufacturers that are the same way too. They all vary. Just if, if you're real concerned about it, maybe you ought to do a little more homework with that particular brand, style, manufacturer, whatever and find out the truth on them so you don't come up too tall or too short. But that's how you do height. Now I'm gonna grab one more bar, a bagger bar, just so you know how to measure those because they have that weird bend in them. Here's the infamous jarhead bagger bar. We get all kinds of crazy measurements on bagger bars because they have this bend in them. Some people think you just measure from here to there or this plus that or that to that. It's, it's all goofed up. The way we do it, you want your upright straight and then go to right there. 
That's how you would do a bagger bar. Now, if it had points or peaks on it, you would take it off the edge of the table just like I did the Yaffe bars and measure it that way. The width's kind of a gray area. I'm gonna go across right here, and these are measuring, I could call them 37, 37 and a half. You know, it's because of the way these, these ends are kind of angled. Are you measuring from here to here? Are you measuring from there to there? It's really just kind of an approximation. You know, I would call these 37 and a half, which I think is what we call them on our website. But either way, take that into account. What you don't want to do is measure handlebars with the grips on. Because depending on the grip manufacturer, they may hang off further off the ends or not. And with throttle by wire, you have these notches here in the end. And when they did throttle by wire, because that sensor hangs out, I think it's a half an inch extra. Most bars are made now, this end is a half an inch shorter than this end over here. Once the throttle sensor is installed, then they would be the same distance from here to there, from where it stops the taper on the one inch tube. And you might think, well, why do they do that? You're gonna have a half inch less on the end of your grip if you don't have throttle by wire. You could put a plug in there, but you've got probably six to seven inches of grip right there. Missing that half inch on the end is not gonna make a dang bit of difference, I promise you. But if it bothers you, they make little plugs you can put in there to make it even and, you know, whatever. I think we sell them. <laughs> I think we've sold like four of them in the past five years, so that tells you how important it is to people. But that's how you measure width. Okay, so now we have base width, and that's that's pretty simple. Now these bars kind of V out, but base width really is gonna be from outside tube to outside tube after the bends just come up. You know, that would be base width, that measurement, whatever it is from there to there. A little easier to see on a, a more symmetrical handlebar or, or a squared off handlebar. You know, it would be from down here would be your base width on these handlebars. There's another term that's used, it's called center width. And center width is the inside measurement. And on these bars, that would be from here to here. It's pretty easy to understand, right? When you get to a traditional handlebar, you would think center width would be from here to here. That's not the case. Center width is typically from here to here. So it's where the curve starts, you know, where this bend starts, which is about right there and about right there. And again, I said about. There's no definitive line necessarily unless you have the mandrel right in front of you. So center width is gonna be right here to here, which I think on this one is a little over eight inches. But I've had many discussions with people over this that are like, hey, you said the center width was this and center width is not. Center width is, on this handlebar, they would call it, you know, 13 inches. Well, they don't know that the measurement was taken from there to there. So just know that going into handlebar specs that this measurement can get really goofy. I wouldn't depend on it from anybody because there's no industry standard on it. Last measurement, which is also a confusing one. Uh, hopefully this will explain it to you, but we've got pullback. That's this right here. So a lot of people call it wrist angle, but it's really what angle or inches or whatever this measurement is. So the way the industry measures it is I lay the bars flat on the table from here to there. That's pullback, very simple. Now keep in mind, if the bars are notched for throttle by wire, it's a little bit less on the right side because we're short a half an inch, so you have to know that. But either way, that's how pullback is measured. Now this is where it gets tricky. Not all bars have the same pullback, obviously, but you could have two handlebars with the same angle, assuming this is zero and this is 30, 40, whatever. You could have two bars with the same angle, but have different pullbacks. And how is that? Well. Let's say that I, these are 37, let's say that I stretched them out to, you know, 40 inches, right? It's a 40 inch wide bar. Well, these tubes are gonna be longer. So that's probably gonna give me, let's say I added two inches there, that would take me from eight, eight and a quarter, another two inches would bring me out to nine, nine and a half, but I still have the same angle, does that make sense? There are some companies that I've seen that are starting to use wrist angle, which I think is a more accurate measurement of pullback that really hasn't been adopted industry-wide yet. You know, we're taking a look at it too, but if you can find that, that's a much more accurate measurement, assuming you have an angle gauge and know how to use one. Most people really don't have a need for one. I've got this little one right here, so I can put this on there. 36.85 is what that's saying right there. Ultimately, that would be wrist angle. If you can find that much more accurate measurement versus pullback. Though pullback is still 
you know, it's not a bad way to do it. It's just kind of, eh, kind of a gray area. So keep that in mind, you know, that, that's how we measure handlebars and that's how most people in the industry measure handlebars. And uh, maybe that'll educate you a little bit and help you make a better decision when you find you decide to purchase a pair. All right, folks, thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you have any questions or comments, please comment below and uh, we'd love to hear your feedback. If you have any videos or topics you'd like us to discuss, please let us know that as well. We'd love to do some more videos for you. If you wanna see the latest releases of our videos or our channel, please hit the subscribe button and go ahead and give us that thumbs up. Thanks for watching.